Hi, my name is Rana Stropic, and in this short video, I want to show you an example from my personal working life how I use location based time tracking in Time Cockpit. Yes, of course, we use our own software for uh, creating timesheets, for doing our own timesheets. And uh, I travel a lot, I do workshops all across Europe, and in this concrete case, I was hired to do a workshop at the customer in Hamburg. So what you see here is my graphical timesheet calendar in Time Cockpit. And you see it automatically integrates with Outlook and shows me some appointments I have in my calendar. These appointments were imported from the dates that Lufthansa sent me. So I see that I had a flight to Frankfurt to Hamburg and the workshop was scheduled to start at 10.30 a.m. But to be honest, I can't really remember when I started my way to the airport, so when my traveling started. I can't really remember if I was in time or a little bit late or a little bit early for the workshop. And even more important, I don't know how long I worked in the evening. It was a workshop, so we used mainly whiteboard. So the, um, the typical signal tracking data from my laptop from Time Cockpit doesn't help me very much. And this is where location-based time tracking comes into play. So let me show you what I mean. I flip this way here and get my signal pane on the right-hand side. The first question is, when did I travel? When did I start traveling? And here on the right-hand side, uh, let's zoom in a little bit and zoom in here. Here you see location data. This map is filled with data that comes from Google Latitude. So I use my Android phone. I have Google Latitude, installed it, and it collects location data. Where am I? Uh, and this helps me. This is incredibly helpful if you have to create your timesheets for, like me here, a travel retrospectively. Uh, it doesn't only work with Android, of course. You can use it on your iPhone. You can use it on your Windows phone. There are dedicated apps partly from Google and partly from third parties, but these apps are all free, so it's it's quite simple and, and um, effortless to install them and gather location data. Um, so let's answer the question, when did I leave home? So I can use control key plus mouse wheel to zoom in and the chart that you see here shows the original uh, location where I was so let me use the alt and mouse key to zoom in the map and what I see here uh, that I click on it at quarter past five was the last point here at home and I arrived at the uh, let's see at the airport Click on it at approximately 5.30. So I don't live far away from the airport. So I can, I now know that my travel started at 5.15 in the morning. So I let's, let's remember this and let's click on set selection start point here um, and zoom out. Uh, what you see here is that I traveled to Hamburg and I'm here north of Hamburg at the airport can zoom in a little bit, see it in more detail. I can move to the right and I see that I arrived at Hamburg Harburg. That's a railway station. I used public transport to, to travel to the customer. And I, I, if I go a little bit more right, I see that here I arrived at the customer. Here you see a lot of dots. So this is where I stayed the entire day. So I can right click again, set the selection endpoint, and that's it. That's my travel. Let's take a look. This is my travel, I right click new booking and I can now say travel uh, to customer XYZ. I will fill out the project later, I don't want to mention the customer here. I used the plane, I was traveling from my hometown and I was going to Hamburg Harbor. So without making any notes, I can immediately see when I arrived at the customer site. So click save and you see this is my travel booking. The question is, how long did the, the workshop um, last in the evening? I don't have any clue here and I haven't made any note. So let's go to the evening here, zoom in a little bit to, to see what happened in the evening. Let's click here 
uh, and zoom into the map and you see the last location at the customer site was at 625 and I can't remember from the top of my head that we had dinner in the city center of Hamburg uh, and I could even look when I arrived at the dinner location and when I I scroll to the right when I came in the evening to the hotel, but that's not interesting for me. The interesting point is exactly here at 6.25 uh, the workshop ended, so I can create a timesheet starting at 10.30. I already found that out uh, because of the location, because of the travel location here, and I double click the Outlook appointment, I correct the date, the Outlook appointment spans two days, but that doesn't make sense for me. And it, let's say 6.15 um, p.m., of course. And this was the workshop with customer XYZ, and, and that's it. Save it, and my timesheets are done. I exactly know when I arrived at the customer. I exactly know how long we worked when I left the customer without me taking any note. And this follows the mantra of time cockpit. Don't forget a billable hour anymore. It's fair for the customer because I know exactly how long I worked. It's fair for me because I know exactly how long my timesheets have to be created. And it didn't take me to make any notes to, to know this information. Time Cockpit collected it for me. So I hope you like this example and maybe you want to give it a try. www.timecockpit.com is where you can download the software. Just uh, enter your, your credentials for Google Latitude and you can start immediately with location-based time tracking.